For today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the changes being made to the Save the World store as well as the llama shop. And like always, I'll leave a link to where I got this information in the description if you want to go check it out. Before we take a look at it, there was one thing I wanted to go over first. When you load into a mission and look into your inventory, you'll notice that there's a new area where they place your consumables. And I did spend about an hour or so trying to collect all of the consumables to see if they would show up in here or not. I was able to get impulse grenades, M80s, bottle rockets, porta forts, obviously the corn, the meat, and the mushrooms. They're all gonna be located in this consumable section and they will disappear after every mission. But having this new consumable section allows you to hold more than one consumable. So you can have mushrooms as well as corn and meat all at the same time instead of just one at a time. Coconuts still show up in the weapon section and there are quite a few consumables I wasn't able to find like the stink bomb, the C4, the plunger bomb or clinger bomb. I wasn't able to find those but I assume they would also show up in the consumable section. The only consumable I don't think that's going to show up there are coconuts and subwafers. Subwafers also show up where the coconuts do but I believe all of the other consumables are going to show up in the consumable tab. But yeah, this wasn't mentioned in today's update, so I just wanted to point that out for those who didn't know. Anyways, when it comes to the patch notes, the first thing they said was with the release of update V20, we are making a significant shift to the items available for purchase and save the world. Save the world will no longer sell llamas like upgrade people and hero llamas, gameplay affecting items or items that accelerate your progression through the game for V-Bucks or real world currency. These changes bring Save the World into closer alignment with BR, where cosmetics do not give any competitive advantage over players who choose not to pay. So basically, you won't be able to buy any llamas in the llama shop using V-Bucks. Instead, you're going to use these x-ray tickets to purchase llamas. All right, so they then went into more detail over the changes that were made. Starter packs that include Save the World access will no longer include a hero or any x-ray tickets. They will still include cosmetic items like outfits, back blings, pickaxes, and their challenges will grant an additional 500 V-Bucks for 1500 total. The Mecha Pop Pack will be the first one to use this new format. So up to this point, all the skins we got in starter packs were reskins of heroes that were in the game. So they came with abilities. A lot of the starter packs also had weapons and they would only give you up to a thousand V-Bucks. But after today, starter packs will no longer give heroes. They're only gonna give skins, pickaxes, back blings. And instead of a thousand V-Bucks, it gives you a chance to earn up to 1500 V-Bucks. So those are the changes that were made to the starter pack. Obviously, we don't really have any abilities to review or anything, but if y'all would like us to still get gameplay with the starter packs, let me know in the comments below and we'll continue getting gameplay with them. The next thing they said was llamas will no longer be purchased with the V-Bucks. They will still be available, but will be acquired with x-ray tickets earned in game from mission alerts, daily quests, etc. So if you look at your daily quest, you'll notice that if you're a founder, they give V-Bucks as well as x-ray tickets. If you're a non-founder, you'll just get x-ray tickets. Uh, same thing with the V-Buck missions. If you're a founder, you'll get V-Bucks as well as x-ray tickets. Uh, if you're a non-founder, you'll just get x-ray tickets. You should also be able to get some from Mission Alerts as well as Stonewood Campaign Quest. You can also get x-ray tickets from your daily login. But yeah, from this point forward, uh, you'll no longer need V-Bucks to buy llamas. You can only use x-ray tickets. Uh, the next thing they said was non-founders will continue to earn x-ray tickets as they do today. So nothing's changed there. Founders will begin earning x-ray tickets in addition to V-Bucks they already earn. So like I said, when it comes to daily quests or V-Buck missions, they'll get x-ray tickets on top of the V-Bucks they're already getting. Uh, the next thing they said was the Stonewood campaign quest will grant additional llamas and x-ray tickets to ease the early progression for new players. Players who have already finished these quests will receive a gift box containing the new quest rewards. So when we logged in to save the world today, and we got two free llamas and we also got some x-ray tickets. So you'll also get some x-ray tickets from the Stonewood campaign quest. And they also said recovering items from the collection book will now cost an in-game currency flux instead of V-Bucks. All right, so if you go into the collection book and try to recruit a hero, you'll notice that it no longer costs V-Bucks to recruit them. Instead, you're gonna need either training manuals and legendary flux, or you can also use your hero recruitment vouchers, but you're not gonna be able to use the V-Bucks from this point forward. 
Instead, you're gonna have to use flux, or in this case, you can also use vouchers. And there were a couple of other questions they answered. One was, does this change how Save the World is purchased or accessed? And the answer is no. Save the World will remain a paid offering. Access will still be sold via starter packs that include Save the World, and the price point of those packs is not changing. I'm not sure if that means they're not gonna do any more deals for starter packs. They have lowered the price on starter packs before, but according to this, it says the price point of these packs will not be changing from here on out. And the last question that they answered was, what about the items I've already purchased collected? Your collection of items is not being affected in any way by this change. This change will not reduce your ability to earn or upgrade gameplay affecting items through play. And that's all the information they provided with today's update. I sort of got mixed feelings about it. The thing I didn't like was how they removed heroes from the starter pack and it's purely just cosmetic items now. I know they were reskins before, so technically they weren't anything really new, but I kind of prefer having a hero as well as a skin when it comes to the starter pack. I also prefer getting a weapon with it as well, but we stopped getting that a while ago. I just feel like they should be adding more heroes, not taking away one of the few sources of new heroes that we get. But that's just my personal preference. I'm really curious to know what you all think about today's update. Let me know what you think about the changes made to llamas. Or let me know what you think about founders being able to get x-ray tickets from dailies and mission alerts. And let me know what y'all think about the changes made to save the world starter packs. Anyways, I think we'll go ahead and stream some more of the new season on Twitch as soon as I upload this video. So be sure to follow if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to use the creator code if you plan on getting the battle pass. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about today's update as well as the new season. Anyways, that'll do it for this one. Hope y'all found the video useful and thanks for watching.